Hello, hello, and welcome back for the premiere of Miley Cyrus and Rihanna's new smash hit collaboration that's taking the hot 100 and turning that heat up by another 100 degrees. In Perfidious Pete plays XCOM, A War of the Chosen. Have you guys heard the new single, Diamond Wrecking Ball, from these two? I'm telling you, it's pure platinum. It's a certifiable pop music phenomenon, and the dynamic duo of Miley and Rihanna, I'm, it's its just, it's, it's audible magic, that's what it is. Their creative juices mixing together have produced an unparalleled melange of delightful flavor. The creative love child of two music superstars at the top of their game working together to give voice to a song that honestly sounds like it was written by angels themselves. But as heavenly as the music might be, I, Perfidious Pete, ever the naysayer, ever the pessimist, I think I still see a little trouble in paradise here. There's a wicked serpent slithering through the garden of musical bliss, because remember, ladies, when this track does finally get around to getting released and isn't just in the ears and eyes and minds and hearts of music insiders, gatekeepers, if you will, once it gets out there for wide release, one of you two is going to have to be the featured artist. That's just the way this works. You guys are going to find yourselves in a boardroom somewhere with a bunch of music and record executives. And one of them's going to going to be like, "So, uh, he's taking a back seat on this one, lady." There's uh, I mean, you know, this song can only go one of either two ways. It can be a Miley Cyrus joint featuring Rihanna or a Rihanna jam featuring Miley Cyrus. One of you guys Gotta, somebody's gonna have to surrender the ego here. You can't have it both ways. You know what I'm saying? Good to see you, sister. Yeah, these guys strike me as a fairly dysfunctional. Restrain yourselves. No, you know what? Don't restrain yourselves on my account. Go ahead and indulge your violent tendencies. No, the three of us called upon together. Something has changed. On that, we are agreed. The battlefield has shifted. Our masters have need of us. Once more. Yeah, you refer to things that happened in the past Sounds as if you guys have been like out on the field of battle previously, but this is your first appearance. You this place with your yeah, just go ahead and smite him and save us the trouble. Dare. Well, all right, well, get struck down then, I guess. Oh, mom and dad are home. Better put the childish things away. Guys are gonna, you guys are so grounded right now. We told you to behave while we were out for a nice dinner. The babysitter said you were very unruly while we were gone. No, I mean, I'm assuming you've been pretty disappointed so much. These guys haven't really been doing anything at all up until they screwed up. They've done one thing, and the one thing they did was screw up. Oh, that guy is one smug son of a bitch. Did you see that look on his face? Somebody's gonna have to wipe that smug grin off of your face, Mr. Warlock, and I'm pretty sure it's me. You know, you think that. Ethereals ever regret having had children in these Chosen? Do you think they sit around sometimes late at night once the Chosen are safely tucked in bed and quietly talk in their own room about... You're like, yeah, you remember, you remember Jill when we found out you were pregnant with fall ill ball of derp there and, you know, we weren't really ready to be parents yet and we thought... Maybe we should just, you know, make an appointment to take care of this. Maybe this, uh, maybe this pregnancy isn't for us. We're just not ready to be parents yet. And then at the last minute, you changed your mind and canceled the appointment and went ahead and had the baby? You ever regret that decision? You ever, you ever wonder what our lives would be like if we had just kept that appointment? I know I do. Honestly, it kind of haunts me. 
Oh, sorry. This is day ill Balladur for the Shadow Queen. With me, I hope you are truly ready to match my skill. I mean, I like my chances, Balladur. Did you not see what happened the first time you made your debut? You appeared from the shadows, came out, we threw mines at you until you got scared and ran away. Pretty Avenger straightforward win for new us. Course. Let's go back up here and get to scan when he's rookies. Pete, why are you going after rookies? You said you didn't want rookies. You know, I figured out what we'll do is anytime we add a rookie or a soldier to our team, we can use the console command to just make them a reaper of the appropriate whatever. So like when we get these three rookies, we'll just use give faction soldiers to add three members to the team. And then the three rookies we actually get, yeah, we'll fire them. We're going to toss them aside like a used condom. We're going to toss them aside like the condom the ethereal should have been using the night he got Jill pregnant. What do we want to build here? Anything? I think probably we wait. Potentially we could build a power facility there, but we're not really going to need that. We've still got some available power. I think our engineer's time is, as always, best used by just having him come down here, grab the shovel, and get to work. Joe Hannison, he's like, all right, got my excavation done. Certainly I'll soon be staffed in a facility. Everything's coming up. And then it's like, oh. Joe Hansen is just, yeah. You know what you should do, Johansson? You should probably write one of those, like, poems about your weapon. In your case, a shovel. It'd be like the Marine Credo. This is my shovel. There are many others like it, but this one is mine. Bond with your shovel. Make it like a, an extension of yourself. So we got rookie Neil Stevenson, Charlie Houston, and Raman Hobb. I don't understand why the game is still pulling from a character pool that I both deleted and exported. Our character pool should be empty. We should be pulling all random units. Although I suppose this does make it a little easier to remember who to fire that way. We're gonna fire Robin Hobb, Charlie Houston, and Neil Stevenson. No Probably Neil Stevenson from, from maybe being a little too verbose. The guy tends to be a little long-winded. He's ever written a novel that's fewer than like 400,000 words with the exception of maybe Snow Crash. Yeah, yeah. To no one in you. I see a shadow of my own creation. And that we're every bit as stealthy as you are, and when you popped out of stealth, we threw mines at you and exploded you? Nothing on the You're local right. comms. You're right, we're also pretty stealthy. Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Done Den two Mother. missions. Enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah, enjoy it we while it lasts, Den Mother, because it's going to last for about another 15 seconds. Advent Network Tower. It's 14, global. 13, Sir, I think you want to see this. 11, 10, Fellow citizens. 9, for 20 Eight, years, the seven. Advent Coalition okay, maybe a little has worked longer. tirelessly. Speaker to Ryan's got to get his speech in and here. Just anti-legalize it. We've Under risen up tirelessly campaigning for the last 20 prosper. years. We our finally had the votes to push through Congress, legal in all 50 states, not just for medicinal yet, use, but also for recreational us, use. There are still those and suddenly, who refuse to acknowledge Speaker the Ryan and his counter cannabis insurgency here have, have risen up, radar violently resisting. To Haven Alpha 7. Right, so it was more like 45 seconds to a minute, then, mother. But the thing is, while it lasts, was totally appropriate because it's definitely. Really over now. Once and for all. They're right on top of you. Losing you, Avenger. Raise them again. We'll Speaker Ryan's launching the war on. Hey, wait a minute, lady. That's not how clothespins work. You had him upside down, clipped to that is no. I'll roll it back to the clothespin bit because that lady clearly has no idea how clothespins actually function. That's the most immersion-destroying thing I've seen in XCOM, a game not noted for creating a lot of immersion. Those close pins? No, that's it. That's, that's game. That's, you completely ruined my experience, XCOM. The close pins were upside down, and then she didn't actually clip the shirt to the clothesline. She just hung it from the clothesline within vertical... Squad's ready very to sad. move on the resistance haven currently under Whatever. siege by the aliens. Yeah, yeah, Give yeah. the word and we'll move out. Our next operation will put us right in the middle of chosen territory. You don't say, Commander. John. There's a good chance they'll show up to interfere, so we should plan accordingly. I actually think there's basically zero chance they'll show up to interfere here in Operation Glass Justice. Setting course. Because we South just Africa. blew ball derp into chunklets. And even if she does appear, I don't really care. She's vulnerable to Reapers, and we have a bunch of them, so we'll probably kick her ass. Also, we just got a bunch of people who have uh, remote start, which on a Haven defense, there tends to be a lot of explodables that we can exploit to our, never mind, everybody who has that ability is tired for like the next week. Well, I guess we're taking Charlize Theron 
Who else we got? I got Cheech Marin. I got a little Tommy Chong down here. And Dave Nightwalker Chappelle. That's not really an app. I mean, that's a bad choice of nickname. Yeah, why I gotta be the Nightwalker? What is it? Something to do with the fact that I'm black? That is not cool, XCOM. I, I tend to agree, Dave. That's that's actually not cool at all. I mean, we got Cheech Final Marin, Charlize Final Theron, because the game's unoriginal as shit. Tommy Shadow Chong. But Dave Chappelle, he's gotta be the Nightwalker. On the plus side, they think it this way, though. You could probably get, like, a solid 15 minutes of material out of that for your next Netflix special. It's not all that size. Sometimes you gotta take those lemons and squeeze them into delicious, delicious lemonade. Operation Glass Justice is underway. Let's get to work. Seriously, though, Dave, you could get easy 15 minutes out of the fact that the game chose to give you the randomly assigned nickname of Nightwalker when everybody else is either Final or Raven, or the Final Raven. In some They're taking out civilians and fighters alike. We're deploying to protect Unity as many Creek, as South can. Africa. Oh, yeah, Unity Creek. You're all about suddenly about harmony area. and getting along together this and whatnot. If you call Dave Chappelle the Nightwalker XCOM, I'm on to you. You're just covering up your bullshit. You bigot. XCOM's a secret. Thing. I won't stand for this nonsense. I do think this mission should be relatively easy. If it's a rescue civilian mission, we're going to start all stealthed up. So really, the, the only thing we would have to concern ourselves with or fear at Our all is accidentally stepping on faces. To fight back, but we need to help protect the civilians trapped nearby. And those civilians are where, per se? There's a group of resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. All right. Move so this is not rescue civilians. It's get the backup. Got it. Why did we zoom in on that guy? So who's the closest and who's the fastest? Chappelle? Chappelle can actually get in. You know what? Yeah, Cheech. Let's have you, first off, just move to here. Looks as I, I want to get vision on that first to make sure we're not going to accidentally stumble into a pod. Looks perfectly fine. So just rush up here, Cheech. We're not in the, uh, we're not in cover, the but our detection radius is so small here, it, it hardly seems like it's going to matter. And there is something else I'd love to try. I had, a th I've been thinking about how to like prosecute this campaign when we're going to be all Reapers, because it, it feels like maybe there are going to be some situations where it's a little tough. One of the things we want to do, we do want to try and get one Reaper. Man, this guy is fast as hell. We really want to try and get one Reaper who has squad sight. That's going to be one of our goals, because then what we can do is have our whole team basically stealthed up and concealed. And we can just have one guy standing back, popping off squad side shots. Sure, it won't be doing a ton of damage, because the Temnotic Rifle is kind of shitty. But, why are you active? None of our people are revealed. We're all cloaked. Or are you reacting to the... the? Are they reacting to that? It's got to be to the Haven soldiers. Then. They're reacting to those guys. See, if only we had remote start here, we could get so many kills by blowing this thing apart. Thanks for the help, bro. Can your other buddy throw some damage in on that guy, too? Nope, you're going the other way with it. All right. Good shot. This fire is getting worse! I mean, it's exa getting exactly the same. Really. So where'd your little friend go? You had a you had a buddy. This guy should also have a buddy. So what if we just come over here? I don't, you know, this is one of those situations where I think it's best not to overthink. What if we just take a claymore? Chug it out here, blow this up, blow up the van with one a death swoop, placement. and we've got ourselves one dead second. Tommy Chong opens things up. Nice kill here. And he stays concealed as well. Tommy is standing outside the fire. Uh, that man did not die when the vehicle exploded, though. And he should have. I don't want to go all players here. That seems, I don't, that seems wasteful. A, okay, so this is actually just two sectoids. We got a coin flip of not being revealed. Let's take the coin flip. We're going to trust Cheech to not play. Stay hidden, Cheech. Stay hidden. We really need silent killers. Oh, Cheech is busted. Well, as long as Cheech doesn't spawn another pod, it's not the end of the world. He did not. That's, that's fine. Charlize. 
Maybe our best bet then would actually just be have everybody stay. We'll have used two of our available claims on this, which I don't like. Alternatively, we might burn up to 100% of our concealment, which I also don't like. Hey, Dave, can you come over here and take a look around, buddy? I go where you tell me. Also, Dave Chappelle is apparently suddenly Russian. Take the shot. Max damage would be great here, Dave. More importantly, if you could stay hidden, that would be more great. Dave has managed to stay concealed. I think we will have Charlize Theron go for the, the kill. We're going to go for the kill. I want this guy taken down. And I want no chance of having anybody other than Cheech revealed. The more we can get without revealing ourselves, the better we're gonna do. One dead second. Dave Chappelle is still in cover, so he should not be busted. I don't know if you shot at Tommy Chong, but you definitely didn't shoot at Tommy Chong because you can't see him. You guys wanna take this dude apart? Also, where did he go? for a second that we were completely invisible. He vanished like a ghost. You should definitely flank and kill that man. What are you shooting at? Okay. Advent Trooper. He is dead. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. So we got to rescue two... Man, they really got some legs on them, though. Forget resistance troopers. Get these guys an NFL contract. That guy just ran a 40 in like 2.4 seconds. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile these forces. These guys gotta be working for the NFL. <laughs> Suddenly it explodes now, huh? Talk about too little too late. Tommy Chong, where you at? Okay, go ahead and get shadowed up. My natural habitat. We want to get up here. The shadows oh, are your no. natural habitat. I mean, I'd have thought your running partner, Tommy Chong, Tommy Shadow Chong, I'd have thought he'd have been the one whose natural habitat was the shadows. I mean, it's right there in the name, Jeez. Let's get you up high, get you a little better vantage point so we can see the battlefield. Still no idea what's going on. Everybody else is 100% cloaked up. It's not too far. So we got nothing to worry about here. We can advance at our leisure. I'm Everybody else is perfectly concealed. Dave Nightwalker Chappelle, cloaked in blackness. He's that came out a little unfor- I'm, You know, I meant like shadows and night. And why you gotta make it racial, chat? It's not the way I meant it. Maybe the resistance can use more of those unbelievable legs they've got to- oh, Alright. I will go. I mean, I'm told there are enemies around here somewhere, but so far I'm not seeing it. And I don't want to come rushing into the center of this pile, because all that's going to do is get us a bunch of faceless. They've got to be around here somewhere. If if one of these guys is faceless, we're completely well. Let's set up for the just-in-case faceless plan next turn. Dave? I need to reload! Anybody who's down a bullet, let's, let's fix My that. My life is in your hands. There we go. Okay, now we got vision on here. At first, we... Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control. We got a stun lancer protest. and what appears to be a, a regular, regular XCOM. What a regular Advent Trooper. Ammo. No problems there. Let's bring a support. Let's get some support up here. Shall we use their home? Get up here. That's a long run. We can take out that team. Really, now that we've got them spotted, our resistance forces should some start doing a little bit of our heavy lifting for us. You guys want to soften the them up a bit. Coming. Another stun lancer. Another. Okay, so we got two squads here. Looks like three squads. I can't even imagine how he took that shot. I'd have been just really pissed if he'd have hit from that distance. Way to return fire. Solid work. Guy's standing right out in the open, just waiting to die. Come on, resistance team. Normally, you guys are lights out. These guys, okay, they have spotted a resistance member. They're going to activate. That's good for us. All we really want is at the end of the term is them to be standing near each other. Nope. Well, they're making that guy's life miserable as shit. He may just be dead. He's in fact dead. He just went out, 
increase themselves a stun lancer. Speaking of stun lancers, where did that guy wind up? He's right there. So we're going to want Charlize Theron in a position where she can finish him off after somebody puts a claymore up his nose. You got a pretty good chance of killing an advent trooper from this range. 76%. Tommy Chong is still cloaked in night. See, he can also be cloaked. You know what? Take that shot. My nice work. Are off. On the plus side, the miss didn't cost us anything. Although it mean it did activate the pod. Never mind, the miss had a it had a definitive cost. Oh, come on, go stand next to a gas pump. So we know there's a man in this tile. So if we hurl a claymore down here. A deadly trap. Cheech, something wrong with your accent there, buddy. When did you become Russian? Go ahead and take the shot, Cheech. They found us. I'm not sure They're why you were revealed. Oh, because you bunked, you bucked. The roll. He was real because he bucked. The roll. We could have Charlize Theron come over here. I am trusting you. The best she's gonna do is shoot the Claymore. It can't reveal her, but she's almost certainly going to get revealed. We need Dave Chappelle over here for a little bit of backup. I need some Overwatch from Dave. Dave? Moving as ordered. If Dave's cloaked up, though, he won't take Overwatch. Shoot the Claymore. Ammunition is nearly depleted. Yeah, it's actually kind of bad here. The overall situation is not going fantastically. Let's put you on Overwatch. It's not going to help. Resistance Trooper is about to get shot. Maybe one of the Resistance Team can... Oh, no. He's crumpled like the old ragdoll. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take that guy did have a gun. Down. Dave Chappelle, save us. We are compromised. Get on my flank! Dave Chappelle, you did not save us, though. And yet, that man brutally slaughtered a civilian instead of coming after us. All right, resistance team, start fighting back. Since when did you guys become such pussies? There you go. Soften him up so Tommy Chong can claim his ass. Good whiff. He did spark the vehicle, though. Now, you guys really need to come over here and shoot at this stun lancer a little bit. This guy's a problem. See, well, you put good target selection. I can't really applaud. I can't really applaud your uh, your skill, but good target selection. So let's go ahead and reload re Charlize. And, reload. and she can just re-up, reload, and re knock this guy right the hell back down. Your gods, I'm coming. Charlize Theron is really obsessed with gods and goddesses. We need to claim more. If we want to get that stun lancer, we need to claim more and we don't have it. If we come down here, move. we can go into Overwatch. I'll keep an eye on it. Try and make these guys come to us. Now, Tommy Chong is still all cloaked up. We bring Tommy over move. here. I found their patrol. Yeah, there is another stun. So we don't want Tommy Chong to reveal himself or be in a position where he could be. We're gonna have to let the. Uh, it feels like we're gonna have to maybe let the resistance forces take the heat on this one. I it's early and we me. don't. I mean, we're basically running this mission with a team of what constitutes 100% rookies. As you order, Commander. Let's get Chappelle over here. We're going to have to rely on these guys trying to take out the resistance forces. I'm sorry, resistance troopers, but... Shit. I was going to say, we're going to use you. Now we're probably going to have somebody... Get, rumors about uh, some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means of containment. There's recent civilians left and right, though. That guy is dead at the end of the turn because that vehicle's gonna explode. Again. 
Another one of our resistance personnel has been eradicated. We got that guy. That's a bonus. Resistance activity. I'm assuming they're all going to shoot at the faceless. I don't have much of a problem with that. You got to take this guy down. He does have an AOE attack, and if he targets the vehicle, he's going to blow it up and kill everybody. Okay, two more damage. Anybody else over here with a gun can put some shots in it. Don't shoot at that guy. Never mind, I take it back. It's, it's fine. You, you've done an acceptable thing. Go ahead and shoot at that guy again. No, I mean, I was joking. I, that, that was a... Okay, good. Shoot the faceless. Yes, that's what we need. We got a lot of work on our hands here. We could, with one shot, take down the faceless. Dave Nightwalker Chappelle. Ch Dave Chappelle, why is your... Oh, because you're... A... Oh, you're... A... I want you to throw a Claymore out here and take down that Stun Lancer, but he's too... Actually, now that I look at it, he's way too far away. Just kill this guy. Very small chance Dave Chappelle does not get revealed here. Very, very small. Okay, Dave's, the jig is up. We can no longer hide. Dave's busted, but that's okay. We got Cheech back here. Cheech, you know what? Before we take this shot. Fill the clip, then take the shot. Nicely done. Brilliant work. I don't suppose Charlize Theron could maybe finish it off? Charlize can't miss. Height advantage is super useful for Team Reaper here. One of many. So we plug the faceless. Tommy Chong. My ammunition is almost we know gone. there's a man over here. I, I, you know, I think we just bust over here. Take the fight. I will go. We're going to be revealed. It's fine. We are Why is his detection life. radius so big? <laughs> no, he doesn't get a reaction move, though. I'm extremely salty about the fact that he got an opportunity to recover. It didn't matter because Tommy Chong was still lights out. Stun Lancer, he's going to come murder a civilian. Yep. I'm sorry, Abby Hill. I tried. I did everything in my power. It's up to the resist. You know, bl don't blame me. Blame your resistance team. These guys have had lots of opportunities to eradicate these foes, and they haven't been seizing those opportunities. They're making up for it now, of course, but this has fallen into the category of too little too late. That man is dead and splayed on the hood like Jesus on the cross. Look at him. He's all crucified. Minus one five, you secured the remaining civilians and there are no other hostiles. Yeah, we did a great job. Actually, school. you know what? We didn't Good do a bad job. There. We rescued 14 out of 19 civilians. It wasn't an amazing job, but we did okay. Advent Gene Therapy Clinics will be closed tomorrow for equipment upgrades. Initial reports that the suspension of services were the result of dissident activity have been dismissed. As you guys are always propaganda. denying everything. It's dissident activity, and our team has delivered justice. Rich, creamy, steamy bowls of justice delivered to the Advent Forces. I'm feeling pretty good about the situation. Glad to see our new Especially if all of you guys get promoted. None of you got promoted, though. Dave Chappelle and Tommy Chong. You got the most cohesion? How can you not have the most cohesion with Cheech, though? He's been your lifelong partner. He has been working the comedy circuit for, like, 50 years. And you prefer the stylings of Dave Nightwalker Chappelle? That's just fucking me, though. A lifetime of camaraderie just pissed away Excellent down the toilet. Work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Yeah, thanks. What we really need, though, is some promotions here, Optimus Prime, because I've got to say, I'm starting to get a little less sanguine about our opportunities to finish this campaign, given our considerably low damage output. We really need to get guys leveled up so where we can start taking shots and remain concealed. I'm going to say not now. I don't I mean, How many guys do you want me to fire? How many Reapers do I actually need? Let's go back Avenger to this disabled truck. How many, how many rookies do you need? Well, at the rate we're going to churn through troopers from the looks of things, we probably need quite a few. Our cooperation has proven to be a boom. Covert operation complete. So Snoop Dogg and Seth Rogen are back. Seth got three extra aim, picked up 25 intel. Snoop, we just got all the bitches. 
They love his doggy style. The benefits we gain from working with the resistance factions on their covert operations. So we just are got some ability points. That's fantastic. Soldier bonds grow 25% faster. For how could long? Potentially be attacked or taken captive while in the field. So it's well, not that's a resistance a decision order. as it Never may mind. Seem. That's actually as far as orders this go. Operation Pretty is going to require some field experience. We do not yet have a sergeant, so we can't. We we'll need to send one of our vets to lead the effort. Yeah, what do we have in way of promotion? Anything that gives a promotion at all? Because that's really what I want. Anything that gives us a promotion. Modular assault rifles is not useful at all. Enemies drop additional loot items. That's an order. We could rescue Mox. Kinda don't want to. Pick up some intel, gives us two aim. You know, I guess recruiting an engineer is the best, cho it's the best choice of a really bad lot. These all suck. Yeah, let's go, we'll go recruit an engineer. Four willpower is useful, I suppose, in that if we give ourselves an extra four willpower, that's less time, less downtime we gotta spend between missions. And you know what? They did such a good job last time. Let's send these boys back out. I still think we send Scythe, Rogan, and Snoop. Who's probably, I don't know, it's probably Calvin Raven Broadus Jr. I'm sure Snoop's nickname is Raven, too, because everybody is. You guys go get us an engineer. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. What are you talking about, my people? My people are your people, Volk. They're one and the same. Guerrilla Tactics School, now operational. Outstanding. The Guerrilla Tactic School is going to have very minimal use for us. We're never going to have squad size one and two. Of course, we can get Hunter's Instinct. We're never going to get Sharpshooter. We're never going to get Biggest Booms. Infiltration is the only thing we can get, and that gives us a plus 25% hacking bonus, and security towers can't see our units, which is useful. Having everybody immune to security towers is really nice. Parkour is actually an ability that I think doesn't even work. Or rather, if you get the effects of this are supposed to be bonus doubled, it doesn't apply to parkour. I don't remember how that... Mentally awake is great. We're going to have three things out of the GTS here. That's the maximum we're going to get. And the sad part is we're going to be paying power for those three things throughout the entire campaign. We're going to be paying that power penalty for a long time before we see a benefit. George Harrison... But I was in the middle of writing Hey Jude. Well, now you're in the middle of shoveling garbage out of a hole. I don't care if you are. Actually, is George Harrison still alive? He may be dead. Priority I don't remember which through. Beatles are alive and dead at this point. I think it's just now. Ringo and John. Or Ringo and Paul, I think. Are you two have made considerable sure progress dead. against the aliens. I mean, I'm, the I know Lennon is dead. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to... Paula Durr picked up very little chosen influence. She's going to do a brutal crackdown. We have no idea what the other two chosen are doing actions. because we can't see their actions. Five weeks till our next event. Reaching their ultimate goal of locating the Avenger. Okay, so Commander, the collector's chosen... Or the I think this just means you fight chosen more often. Made whole is terrible. Chosen lose their weaknesses for a month. We need those weaknesses. Commander. The factions have Double cause. Support to Blue recovery is 20% faster. That's orders. pretty good. As our influence with it these reserves to an extra power. Inside job until rewards by extra 10%. Kind. Hack defense is lowered by 20. This is Children of Justice is a great and order. Information war is really good. If we had somebody who could hack anything, we don't. Heavy equipment is useful. Infiltrate is honestly fantastic for us. My Reapers are up for taking on some additional orders. Timer doesn't begin until the... Well, we're just going to do that. Timer doesn't begin until the squad loses concealment, which means on for our all Reaper run, that's a really lucky drop. We effectively can, as long as we stay cloaked, we have missions with no timer. Consider it done, that's commander. kind of commander. beautiful. The resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed. Yeah, I mean, we'll go get them, reach. but what, what are we going to do? We'll have to fly that's another thing I'm confused about in this campaign. This what are we going to do with supplies? It's nice to have supplies, but how are we going to use them? We need so few upgrades for our team. To aggravate me further by seeking the aid of those traitorous dogs. And you have succeeded. Well, good. I'm glad I pissed you off. Maybe you'll make a stupid mistake. I'm glad I've angered you. Our inspiration did prove beneficial. Well, I guess this is what we're going to do with the supplies, is we're just going to buy mag weapons. I believe mag weapons automatically apply to our Temnotic rifles, so... 
we might as well go straight into armor, I guess. We could alternatively start working on a skull jack. We are going to need a proving ground sometime in the near future. Commander, if we intend on discovering the purpose mag of the rifle, chip, gun, mag rifle, shard gun, mag pistol, research we'll gauss weapons. Need to the so mag pistol, shard gun, magnetic rifle. During the course of our research, digital network construction is inspired. Breakthrough that has led us to another potential avenue what does it of do? study. However, if we are to proceed down this path, resistance ring must do so at a reduced cost. Oh, we can upgrade we the resistance ring cheaper. to return to it in the future. Do Gauss weapons does this give us upgraded Temnotic rifles though? Is that's actually what I want? From my own experience, hold on a second. Advent generally deploys heavy security yeah, yeah. rather than subterfuge when it comes to protecting their primary facilities. We cannot the upgrade these yet, and we also don't have any alloys, so we can't upgrade. Have to the we have mag weapons before we even research the alloys. I suspect our findings we don't, there we don't will lead us to even greater questions. What can I do for you, Commander? You'd be surprised Nothing at the moment, really. Some of can't these really things do anything. Can make in combat, Commander. With a we don't care about the experimental I weapons. We don't have enough alloys to do plated armor. armor. I await your orders, Commander. Resistance Communications is a primary, but it's five days for digital network construction. You know what? We haven't built... Do we want to spend five days on this, though? We're going to have a difficult time burning through the supplies that we've got. We were just talking about what are we going to spend supplies on. Maybe we just say to hell with digital network construction. It's five days, and all it does is allow us to... Yeah, well, I agree. That is an important... I'm doing this not command. because I think it's good. Actually, this is not a great piece of research for us. But I'm curious, if we research this breakthrough, what other breakthrough might it chain into? Because Commander, typically, if you get one breakthrough, you'll get another one after to make you research contact, it. But we'll have to make the first move. Yeah, I know you really want me to make contact, Bradford, but I also really don't want to do it at the moment. Commander, we have a priority message coming through. It we actually can't make contact, by the way, Bradford, because we don't have the appropriate advice. <sighs> Hello, Commander. Hello, Edward Optimus. Seeing your recent activities have gotten Advent's attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. They're always on the move, though. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities. Let me guess, something known as the Avatar Exit Project? The details Optimus of these now. operations are highly classified. However, how, they okay, if they're highly classified, then how come you know about it? A single word that appears in all the Advent, files. Are they that incompetent Avatar. that you're just one man I working alone to bring them down from the inside and they're highly classified, super top Avatar secret project, project you just stumbled onto? Based on what we have I'm supposed so to believe, far, Optimus Prime, that you're just that good at your job. Far greater. I don't bite this project it. Not that good at your job. From the very top of Advent. From a source, I am still unable to determine. So, in other words, what you're saying is you don't, you, you got this information, you have no idea who leaked it. And in fact, it could be a complete and total counterintelligence ploy to lure us into a trap. This seems more like the kind of quality of work I've come to expect from New Optimus Prime. We must root out these hidden It's basically a rumor. It's a top secret, ultra classified rumor. Good work, process. Uncover Do we the pay truth. you? Locate the Because if we're paying you for what you're project, providing the resistance, I kind of feel like we're getting it. screwed. Were the enemy to if you work for free, efforts, then I am certain we're getting what we paid for. for. But if we pay all, you even one cent, I'm confident you will we're take getting whatever chipped. measures necessary to eliminate this threat, Commander. It's not even a threat. It's just your vague supposition. We're tracking the just go put your tinfoil hat on, Avatar Prime, project and leave here. me alone. If they finish what they've started, it sounds like it'll be the How much progress are they going to get? They start with three pips. Well, bad, but not the end of the world. On the plus side, we can also now get the covert operation to reduce that. And speaking of bad side, I think the bad side of this episode is we're about to wrap it up. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. The support really does mean a lot. If you'd like to see more of our maddest madness yet, and the more I play of this campaign, the more I'm thinking this may turn out to be a little more challenging than I expected it to be. I kind of thought, hey, this is going to be a breeze through the early game, but I forgot just how bad Reapers My are before they get any abilities. Well they're really not very good. Reapers and their brutality in combat. They have slaughtered many of the Elder's minions and feasted upon the corpses of their prey. Well, I mean, you got to eat something, well, right? It's, it's classic guerrilla warfare strategy. Take, take the enemy's resources and use those the resources against gods. the enemy. So they're what if the resource happens to be the enemy themselves? That's just them really embracing the whole gorilla meta. They're like, no, we've taken it to the next metal. We also 
in addition to stealing their materials, we, we steal them physically and just we use their bodies as food. That's our rations. Yeah, this is dead advent. This is what we eat. You're having an advent burger? Me too, actually. It's just, I know what's in mine. Anyway, if you want to see more, I'd consider dropping a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. Subscribe as well. New episodes every single day. Right now, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.